Hi everyone, it's Fran here from the Tolworth Library again and today I'm going to be giving you a short review of a book called The Lonely City by Olivia Lang. So this is a non-fiction book and it is, as you may have guessed, focused on the idea of loneliness whilst being surrounded by millions of people in a city. The book came about when Lang was living in New York and she didn't know very many people at the time so she actually found solace by looking into the artists that lived in New York through various different periods of the, of the city's life. There are quite a few artists that she goes into, but there are four in particular that she goes into detail on. And um, those are the ones that gave her a particular amount of solace, particularly because they were outsiders. They were people that were alone and showed loneliness within their art. I was very naive about these artists and um, artwork in general when I came into this book. It's not something that I would say I'm passionate about, but the way that Lang goes into to detail on it, she makes it a very interesting topic for people that are not even um, remotely uh, aware of the artist before you go in. She describes the paintings in a really interesting way and the, the photographs in an interesting way. I found myself stopping quite a lot when I was reading the book to go and look at the artist's work to see what she was talking about. There are four artists that she, she goes into in quite a lot of detail. I'm going to um, read their names out for you. Forgive me on the pronunciation on, on one of them in particular. Um, you have Andy Warhol, quite well known, Edward Hopper, Henry Darger and a, a photographer called David Wernerowitz. Um, so these artists, two of them quite well known, two of them were completely new to me, to me when I came in. And they spread across a, a, a period of time in New York, but there is a particular focus on um, the, the photography scene and the film scene from the, the 60s, 70s and 80s in New York. And she goes into a lot of detail about outsiders in general. And um, one of the artists is what you might call an outsider art artist. He um, had some a particularly hard upbringing and some mental health issues. And his work has been looked at after he died. It was discovered after he died. Looking at these artists through the, the lens of loneliness is a really interesting way of, of visualizing the art but it's also an interesting way of looking at the concept of loneliness particularly when you're in a city setting. I think that at the moment in particular this book might um, speak to people quite a lot. Obviously we're all at the moment very isolated, we are socially distancing and a lot of us are feeling lonely even though we are surrounded by people. So this book in particular is something which I think would be a good one to go to if you're feeling um, hardy enough to, to start contemplating that loneliness. But it is something that it goes into quite a lot of detail. It goes into detail about things like um, the um, outsider gay scene in, in New York during the 80s and that kind of thing. Um, and it is something which a, a lot of it was brand new to me. It took me quite a while to read because I was going away and looking up stuff as I was reading through. And I came out of it feeling um, like I'd found out quite a lot. But the interesting thing about it, considering it looks at the lens, it looks at loneliness, is um, the author doesn't really comment on or offer any ideas as to how to help with that. It is just a, a look at it. It is looking at it in the way that she experienced it. And it's looking at the way that she used these artists when she was going through loneliness, but not necessarily suggesting that it is the, the way to cure loneliness. So it's a really interesting book to go and have a look at. Um, this one is available on Libby, Libby by Overdrive um, and you can also get a number of the author's other books on there that are all non-fiction and they look at things that are a very wide range of topics. So you've got the uh, Walking Up the River Ooze was one of the ones that she, she did a memoir on. 
Um, and there was also looking at the way the alcohol and literature are, are related to each other. So looking at a lot of the um, the writers that we know that were particularly well known alcohol drinkers. So if you if you can't find the Lonely City or you don't feel like you can go into that right now, I would recommend going and looking for some of Olivia Lang's other work as well. So there you go, Lonely City Adventures in the Art of Being Lonely by Olivia Lang. Thank you.